All right, so we're on our Cuban sandwich tour of Sarasota. And our first stop is Myrna's Cuban Cuisine on Tamiami Trail, not far from the Ringling Museum of Art. And you can see the cheese. Melty, it's nice and flat. There's a nice uh, toastiness. toastiness. All right, Gina's gonna take the first bite here. Oh, let's look at that, yeah. Nice. Our first time trying Myrna's. Yeah, it should have ham and pork on it and Swiss cheese. Mm -hmm. Myrna's is one of the most highly re uh, rated Cuban mm -hmm. cuisine places in our mm. area. Well, oh. the cheese is nice and melty. It all, it all works together. Yeah. So. Beautiful. How's the bread? Bread is wonderful. Nice. It's got a nice chew, but it's nice and toasty. Yeah. Crispy on the outside. Crispy on the outside, nice and browned, you know, from yeah. the toastiness. And Let's take a look at that. Flip it over there. So oh yeah, nice, nice color. Pork, pickles, mustard, yep. and Swiss. All right, we're gonna enjoy. Yeah, you're gonna love it. So here we are at Old Packing House, our second Cuban sandwich stop of the day. Uh, you can see some nice pulled pork there, ham, the old pickle slice. Oh, looks like you've already taken a bite. How is it? <laughs> it's very good. Yeah. Very flavorful. The shredded pork as opposed to sliced. Yeah. And then you know, everything else is the same. Nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Alright, we're going to try this one out and see how it this fits This is very in flavorful. Very, very flavorful. More than awareness? Yeah, I really enjoyed Myrna's too, but this this is a little bit more flavor. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, here we are at Rincon Cubano. And this is our third Cuban sandwich stop of the day. This is 17th Street in uh, Honore. Nice. Uh, in the little a, plaza where the Goodwill is. Give a little knock on that bread there. Yeah, that is... <laughs> that is. Yeah. Nice and crispy, solid. So, yeah, the sandwich looks good. You got some sliced pork. Mm -hmm. All right, you ready to take a looks bite? It's really okay. Good God. I'm getting really full. Yeah, it's <laughs> the third Cuban sandwich of the day. <laughs> We're only eating half, <laughs> yeah. but it's still like so much. Like, oh. Wow, listen okay. to that crunch on the bread there. Nice. Mmm. I think that's one. That one has the crunchiest bread. Mm -hmm. It has the crunchiest bread for sure. Nice. Mm. Mm. All right. This is very good. So we're going to try this mm -hmm. one, and we'll render our judgment. Mm -hmm. Um. So I would have to say, none of them were bad. Mm -hmm. They were all quite good. Yep. Um. I would have to say though that JR's does take first place for me and it mm. is because mm -hmm. it was shredded pork which you know you season right shredded pork instead of sliced pork they they I yeah. think they were the only one that had the shredded pork they were yeah on it which and the shredded pork was seasoned beautifully which added so much dimensionality to that Cuban mm -hmm. sandwich and maybe their ham I mean it was it was a, it, it felt like maybe the best quality ham Yep. Um, and it was a little bit saltier than the other sandwiches, but it was not a salt bomb. Mm -hmm. It was seasoned. Right. Um, so, so that, that would, would be number be, one. Yeah. Uh, Myrna's is a very close yes. number two. If they had the pulled pork yeah. on theirs, they would they would probably it would be neck and neck. Yeah. But both were pressed sandwiches as they should be. We saw on YouTube some that were not, mm -hmm. but a Cuban is a pressed sandwich. Yeah. And the other thing that we saw was that the bread was consistently like supposed to be chewy, crispy, toasty. So both of those breads were very good. Mm -hmm. um, Rincon Cubano would be a third um, just because the ham looked like pre-sliced ham and things like that. It tasted kind of cheap, it tasted yeah, fine. Cheaper ham, uh, but their bread was fantastic. Their yeah. bread was the only one that had the real knock on it. Yeah. And when you bit into it, you could hear the crunch yeah. of your bite. Yeah. So, I mean, 
it's always like this if you could make a hodgepodge and give this person their bread and this person their pulled pork then you could probably make a, a Frankenstein mm -hmm. Cuban sandwich that would satisfy everybody yeah but uh, I would definitely say that Myrna's and JR's although JR's like I said slightly edges out and as Gina agrees um, JR's is number one uh, Myrna's is a very close number two we're definitely very excited to try Myrna's Cuban cuisine, uh, especially yes. uh, vaca frita yes. um, and the palomilla steak and some of the other things there yeah. uh, because it all looked fantastic and it was packed. Um, mm -hmm. Of course, we're still not eating in crowded restaurants right now uh, due to the pandemic, but uh, we would get it to go. Yeah. Um, but their Cuban food looked fantastic and uh, on my list, our list, of best in our travels, uh, I have a strong feeling that uh, Myrna's will end up being best Cuban restaurant. Or restaurant even yeah. if they're second place on the Cuban sandwich, and again, I want to emphasize yeah. a very close second. We also want to try, although today it's a bit, it would be very challenging to do because we've eaten basically one and a half Cuban sandwiches a piece. Yeah, pretty, pretty much. <laughs> I, yeah. I couldn't finish my Rincon one, the third, the third one. I was just too full, but. Um, we do want to try Colombia, mm -hmm. which Mike has had before. Yeah, they're, uh, they're a pretty a good solid ago. sandwich, yeah. And <clears throat> there's another one that we know of here in Sarasota called Antojitos, which is on the North Trail by Myrtle, and they, not far from Ringling. They probably get the lowest reviews of all of them. Um, mixed, but yeah. Yeah, they have most mixed reviews. But we'll try it. But we'll, yeah, we'll definitely yeah. give it a shot. So mm -hmm. those are the ones that we came across in our internet travels. So I would say if you're on... Uh, the Ringling side of town, um, definitely go for Myrna's. If you're on the uh, eastern side of town, over near UTC, uh, go for JR's. Yeah. If you had to pick the best one, go for JR's. Um, if you're looking for just Cuban cuisine in general, go to Myrna's. Yeah, or or Rincon, maybe them, maybe they, you know, also yep. do that. But. Um, I did uh, when I went into Rincon. <coughs> Rincon they had a little sign there that said uh, mini tres leches mm -hmm. uh, and I know that he loves that so I did pick one of those up their little sign said count memories not calories oh that's I nice I thought that was yeah. very very nice mm. uh, so I picked one and of those their, up their bread, Mike. their bread was fantastic so yeah. yeah the lady was very nice in there too and all, all of them have been very nice and courteous and yeah. we called ahead on two of them and they were really nice and Oh, the price. There was a price differential. Oh, that's right. So I think JR's was the most expensive, probably because they have a little bit more labor intensive with actually pulling the pork and yeah. you know doing all that. They were all the same nine inch sandwiches. <clears throat> I think two of the places asked if we want the twelve inch, but we just stuck with the nine inch. I think that's probably pretty standard. Yep. Um, but so so uh, for uh, two Cuban sandwiches uh, at JR's, it ended up being twenty eight eighty three. Mm -hmm. Myrna's was about 16 and change. Yeah, so Myrna's is cheaper. And um, then Rincon was uh, 25, well, 22. And, you know, give yeah, a little Rincon tip. was right, but, right um, about in the middle. Rin yeah, so. Yeah. For what that's worth. All right. There we go. Cuban sandwich, Sarasota. <laughs>